Welcome to the tutorial series for solving the 4x4 Rubik's Cube, otherwise known as the Rubik's Revenge. I'll be teaching you all the reduction method, which reduces the 4x4 to resemble the original 3x3, then solve it that way. So if you don't know how to solve the 3x3 Rubik's Cube, head over to my other tutorials first before coming here. Before we begin, I'd like to point out the differences between these two cubes. Obviously, this one has larger dimensions, but the most important part is that it has an even number of layers. That means when it's mixed up, the centers will be messed up. So that means you have to remember the color map of your cube. Yellow is on top, blue is to the left of red, and yellow and white always across from each other. Same. And then red across from orange, green across from blue. And so the color scheme should be the same as the 3x3 except that the centers on the 3x3 three three always stayed the same, but you're going to have to be solving the centers on the 4x4. Four four. And so we have four pieces making up the centers, which means four on each of the six faces, and that makes 24 center pieces. And then we have f two edge pairs on each edge side, and so that makes two per edge and 12 edges total, which makes another 24 edges. And lastly, still eight corner pieces, as there's still one piece each, four down here, four up here. And I'll also introduce some new algorithm symbols, a lowercase w following a face letter denotes a double layer turn. So such as RW would be double layered clockwise 90 degree turn. And then a lowercase face letter, such as lowercase r, instead of the uppercase r, which means the outer layer is turned, it's the inner layer that goes clockwise 90 degrees. So that's about all you need to know in addition to knowing how to solve the 3x3, three three, of course, and we're ready to begin solving the 4x4, four four, of course, after we've messed it up a little.